Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collective haul for you. Now, if you are new around here, hello, my name is Nicole. I make videos here every now and then on YouTube and I'm glad that you are here. If you don't know how these videos typically work for me, they are a mix between blogger mail, things that I've purchased, things that I've been given, and just kind of the random things that I've picked up over the months. So if that has enticed you, keep on watching. All right, so I think I'm gonna start with the clothing that I have received over this month or picked up over this month. So first thing, first thing is just this top from Look of the Day. It says limited edition on it, and I think it's super cute. Now I find style here in the UK is quite a lot more relaxed. I mean, I'm in a long t-shirt right now that, you know what, sometimes I think it ends up looking kind of chic. It doesn't look like casual wear. It's like casual chic wear. Anyways, that's why this one jumped out at me. Now I picked it up in an extra large because I wanted it really oversized and um, yeah, it worked perfect. It doesn't fit, but that's not how I wanted it. Anyways, I'm not too sure of the price of this item. If I can find it online, I'll have it linked down below for you. All right, so the next thing that I have, if you're new around here, you won't know that I'm obsessed with berets. I have the finest hair. So I find when you pop a beret on, it just adds a little something to your outfit um, and hides the fact that you have fine hair. So I'm absolutely loving berets right now. At least for the last year, I've been loving berets. Anyways, this one was just from Primark. I believe it was three pounds. And honestly, guys, I have, prim or I have berets from Topshop, I have berets from ASOS, and I have berets from Primark, and the Primark ones are the cheapest ones, and I cannot tell a difference at all. Okay, so the next thing that I have is just these leggings, and they are from Gibson Girl. So, they've got an elastic on the inside there if you need to make them tighter, and then they've got this polka dots on the side. Now, I am digging them, totally digging them, but I did get them in a size medium. I probably could have sized up to a large. They're just snug, like I don't intend on putting on any more weight, but they are snug. Um, but that being said, I did get them in the petite range. Um, I thought they were just gonna be a little bit more cropped, so I don't know. I think they're okay. I'll, I can like survive in them and I like them. But if you're looking for more of a like relaxed fit, you know, tight but still relaxed, I would definitely go up into a large in this style because as i said this was a petite style i also got kindly given those ones for a collaboration so i'm not too sure of the price on them i think it's 49 pounds but i'll have a link down below for you all right you guys first thing i'm going to say before i even get into this video i am so sorry the man back there has decided to mow his lawn the second that i've decided to sit down and film this and if I wait till later, I think we won't have any more sun. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. All right, so the next thing that I have is just this yellow bodysuit from Primark. Now I did get this in, at the very end of December last year. I don't know if I showed it to you guys though. So if I'm showing it to you twice, I'm sorry. But I love that it's just got those like little buttons there and you can control how low it is or how low it's not. So I'm not really the type of girl to be like showing off a ton of cleavage. So I love that you can control that. Now I think this was maybe six pounds, but it wasn't very much. Alrighty, so the next thing that I have is just these pajamas from FNF clothing, which I used to see people wear it on Instagram and I was like, ooh, I've never seen that store. It's like Tesco's brand. Remember, I just moved here. Anyways, I love it. It's like silky, but not too silky that you go sliding around. It's got like this gorgeous floral detailing um, and I think it fits really nice. So I was given it, I was, it was given to me by Paul's parents for my birthday and it was 22 pounds, which personally I think is quite a lot for a pair of pajamas. But yeah, I think they're so nice. And then I'm gonna show you the bottoms. So these are the long bottoms. Now there, it's got an elasticated waist on the back, but then on the front, it's like not elasticated. I actually find that quite uncomfortable. Um, it's just like it gets restricting on the front, but then gives on the back. I don't understand what the reasoning was behind it. Um, and I do find that it actually does fit me in the length of the legs, which is amazing because normally that doesn't happen. So I'm okay with the sides, but I do find that the front bit is a little bit uncomfortable because it's not elasticated. Okay, guys, that is it for the clothing. I'm going to show you. I have a couple of 
houseware, homeware items. I'm not gonna show you too much because I actually have redone the bedroom and I'm gonna do a whole other video on that. So let me show you the four things that are kind of homeware-y. Starting off with the live items. I picked up this crazy cool plant, you guys. Can you see that? It is a little pineapple plant. How cool is that? Now, I did pick it up because it's pretty cool. But I also found out that it has a lot of air purifying benefits, which is pretty rad. So um, I heard that at night, or I read that at night, it really can um, help purify your air. So I actually just have it in the kitchen right now because I don't really think it goes in this room, but who knows, I might move it around. All right, so the next plant I picked up is just this guy. Now, if anyone knows the name of this plant, if you just wanna leave it for me in the comments because I definitely do not and there wasn't a thing in it, they actually just made up the price I picked both of those plants up up at Asda and this one didn't have a price and then there wasn't any similar ones so they just made it up so I don't know how to care for it so yeah I've been loving the plants I feel like it makes every room come alive all right so the next thing that I have is just this Tefal Tefal blender now our last blender broke um, so this was one of the things that Paul got for my um, birthday now I believe it now I think it's just your standard blender. I'm hoping and praying it doesn't break as fast as the one I had previously had from Wilco, but yeah, I'll keep you updated on how it's going. All right, so the other thing that Paul got me is, I was actually so excited for this, an ice cream maker. <laughs> So my auntie, she makes, like she has an ice cream maker in Canada and like the coconut ice cream she can make with that thing is so tasty. So I cannot wait to start making like my own ice creams and stuff with this. Um, I'm just kind of like chilling a bit because I don't want to like, we don't have a lot of freezer space and I do want to buy like a cubed freezer. But yeah, I, um, yeah, I can't, I can't wait. I think coconut ice cream is first up on the docket. Okay, I lied. I think this one and maybe one other still counts as homeware, but I just got given this Yankee candle. It was actually a part of like a Christmas gift, but we, Paul's family, they did like a part of their Christmas in January, so I just got it. But it's just this Yankee candle and it's called Cozy Up. Cozy Up. The French is right underneath it, but yeah, Cozy Up. And it's just kind of like a light, I would say cottony, vanilla-y type smell. So it is so nice. And then the next thing, I don't have the packaging anymore, but it is just this lime, basil, and mandarin luxury reed diffuser. I feel like it was from Neck, but you guys, if you like Joe Malone, the lime, basil, and mandarin, I think it's called as well, this is identical to it. So we have it here in the living room and it smells amazing and obviously doesn't come with that Joe Malone price tag. I lied, there's way more home items. <laughs> So another thing that Paul got me for my birthday is just this little martini set. Now Paul and I actually don't drink that much, um, but we do have alcohol in the house. Like we have alcohol in the house that is like barely touched from when I first moved here. But it is nice to have alcohol in the house because if people do come over, it's nice to be able to offer them something. But that being said, even though Paul and I don't drink a lot, like we still do make mocktails quite often and like with just other like non-alcoholic drinks or we like kind of making like fancy drinks but they're just usually non-alcoholic so i had mentioned to him that like i would really like to get a bar cart one day so i guess this is the start of it but it's just a little mini um martini set or cocktail shaker set and i don't know if you remember in a few videos back like a collective haul i was given a, another shaker from Corksicle, and I'm actually gonna be going to London Fashion Week with Corksicle, so that is really exciting. But anyways, um, I will be able to add that to the bar cart once I buy the bar cart. All right, I feel like these next ones are gonna be a little bit random, but if you, again, are new around here, I am anemic, so I have really low iron, and um, yeah, it's a struggle. Anyways, I picked up these new uh, tablets. They're from Active Iron, and it's their double iron delivery system. So I've only taken it one day so far. I'm not too sure how good of results it's gonna give me, but if you struggle with your iron as well, I've heard good things about this one. I use the blue iron in my smoothies, but I find in winter I'm not drinking smoothies as much. So I wanted something else to supplement with that. So I'm giving this one a try. All right, so the next thing, I think you would have seen a post on my grid on Instagram by now, but it is just for this charcoal white arm and hammer toothpaste, which as you see, it is almost done. We're almost done this guy, but it is um, powered with activated charcoal and it removes 100% more of surface stains, which I think is quite the claim. 
I will say with this, um, I do like it. I don't feel like it whitens. Like there's other products out there that I think whitens a lot more, but I do think it gives you a really artificial, like gleaming white that you're like, you, you definitely whiten your teeth. <laughs> So I do like this one. I will say also for charcoal, it doesn't leave that gritty ugh, in your mouth. So it's just a very light charcoal, I would say. All right, so the next things that I have, I'm just gonna show you the box, but I have them right here. <laughs> I literally held on to the box to show you guys, but it's just these um, skincare, it's a skincare brush set from Sigma, and it's six brushes for skin pampering. Now, this one is for clay and mud. And then it says scoop and evenly spread thick masks onto the skin. And then this one is for serum. Apply liquid and gel serums gently and evenly, okay? And then this one is for moisturizer. Moisturizer. And it says use angle to gently apply moisturizer. And then this one is for whip gel mask. Or no, this one's for gel masks. And it says whip gel mask onto the skin in a circular motion. And then uh, this one is for, is a spatula and it's scoop and mix skincare products for custom care so these guys I don't know if you can see like the texture difference on these guys so this one is exclusive synthetic antimicrobial fibers and then this one is flexible and smooth high-grade silicone and then the handles are solid polymer based handles and it outlasts skincare formulas and frequent brush care. And then this like part, this part has broken on a lot of um, brushes for me, but it says it's corrosion resistance and Sigma alloy ferrules and precious metal plating for shine and strength. So that's that, but basically, um, I'll just read it to you what it says on the box, but it says um, Get the professional facial experience at home with the six brush set antimicrobial synthetic fibers are gentler than fi Fingers for pampering and skin prep creating a flawless canvas for makeup The luxury spa day is best maintained when these brushes are washed after every use with hundred percent natural Sigma brush shampoo indulge in the ultimate skill self-care must-haves so basically, in a nutshell, it's just saying that like when we use our fingers, there's sometimes bacteria on there and sometimes you don't get um, the product fully into your skin. Whereas if you use these guys, you're going to get a better treatment. So yeah. All right. So sticking on that skincare train, this is going to look pretty grody, but I promise it is clean. I have got this Magnetone London uh, Bare Face 2 Fibrosonic Daily Cleansing Skin and Toning Brush. So obviously my skin is dark, so no matter how much I clean this brush, if there's a little bit of makeup on it, it just ends up staining it. So this gets charged with a USB, which I love because I'm gonna still be able to use this when I go back home to Canada in a couple months. Anyways, that's like the first setting. That's the next setting. And then that's the last setting. And then it obviously does it for as long as you're supposed to be doing it. I actually do it like two times through. Um, because I like to double cleanse. So yeah, I am loving this. And basically um, it has like a ton of different motions and that motion helps get out all of the dirt inside of your pores. And I cannot tell you how many of you have risen me on Instagram and stuff being like, your skin is looking amazing. So yeah, I am loving it. Um, just waiting for those last little bit of scars to go away and then I feel like I'll be in heaven. All right, this is a random one for this haul, but the time has come, you guys. I had an iPhone 6 SE. <laughs> heaven music. <laughs> I finally got a new iPhone. So this is the iPhone, I think it's the 10XS. Yeah, the 10XS, I got the 64 gig and it is big especially in comparison to my other phone. I'm loving it. The only thing that I don't like is that I do miss having a button here because I miss, I don't know, maybe someone can tell me, but like going quickly in between apps, whereas this one I find you have to go out of the, well, go out of the app and then go into the next one. Like you can't quickly switch back and forth between two. That's what I find so far. It's a little bit hard, but yeah, otherwise I'm loving it. The camera is insane. All right, you guys, the next thing that I want to show you are just some shoes. Yes, I do know I have the most massive feet of life, 
but these are actually just from Koi. So I believe Koi is a vegan shoe care brand. Vegan? Do I say vegetarian or vegan? I think it's vegan. Anyway, it's a vegan skincare brand, and I have scuffed these up beyond belief. Anyways, um, I <laughs> Paul has like similar shoes to this, and I was wearing his, but they're just a little bit too big. So I picked up these ones. Now these ones are in a UK size eight. North American sizes, I am a nine and a half or a 10, depending on how the shoe fits. And it's just got these ribbon laces. I don't know if you can see that there, but the, it is ribbon. Now, I won't lie to you guys. I got my foot in them and I wore them, but it is quite snug on my right foot, which is bizarre because my left foot is actually bigger than my right foot. Anyways, it gave me the most gnarly blister I have ever had in my life. And to the point where I couldn't even wear shoes last week because it was like that bad. So I don't know, are they stretched out now? I don't know, do I risk wearing them again or maybe just not go like walking in them? But yeah, I love them, I love them, I love them, but like it's it's like an open wound on the back of my shoe or on the back of my like heel so yeah I don't know all right so the next thing that I have for you guys is quite a lot of products but it's from a brand called Nashi now they sent thickening up shampoo that's for Paul they sent shaving clay that's for Paul <laughs> they sent a uh, beauty treatment for all kind of hair that one was for me they sent um, beauty treatment for all kind of hair conditioner that was for me. And then face and beard cleanser. That one was for Paul. And then they sent um, the balm moisturizing after shave. Probably for Paul. And then, um, oh yeah. Oh no, this is for Paul as well. But it's like beauty treatment for all kinds of beard. It's beard oil for Paul. And then this was, ah, this is a deep restoring hydrating mask. So I'm actually going to use this one tonight. Anyways, you guys, I am not obligated to show this stuff to you. Like most of the stuff that was sent was like just gifted um and if there was like a requirement i just had to post to my instagram i didn't have to put it on youtube but i feel like with a caption you can only say so much in a caption that hair care line oh my gosh like i need to wash my hair today it's been two days i think it was and my hair is just so fine it gets greasy so fast we talk about this all the time but um <laughs> it has made my hair so so shiny and feels so oh nice and it stays smoother over here whereas like it was frizzing up so much before I, straight up like it's hard because i know that i am a like influencer and i like get to experience other brands and stuff but i have never used something so good on my hair honestly and um they have not paid me to say that and i just think it's so so nice and um this one like business that we go to here it's like a like a niche perfumery the owner she's so classy like i love her her name is maria and she uses it as well and i feel like anything that maria uses i know is quality because she's just that type of woman so yeah i, I know I, I actually have like a few collaborations coming up and i'm so interested in like testing out other brands but i can tell you that one is going to be my ride or die for life because it is so good okay i'm trying to make this as short as possible but sorry you guys anyways the next thing that i have it's just this emporium emporium classic um bohemian i cannot talk it's this emporium classics bohemian hand and body wash it's enriched with strawberry white jasmine and orange blossom and it smells so good you guys we haven't used it yet i don't like opening tons of different things like let's use one hand wash and then just like get rid of it anyways it kind of reminds me of body shop satsuma like that really like tangy but fresh smell different but really tangy and really fresh last but not least i have a package from sigma this is the second package i've received from these guys but this one had quite a lot in it so i'm gonna be really quick anyways the first thing that they put in here it's a hundred percent natural solid makeup brush cleanser now i think it says you just stick the brush on your sink and then you just rub the brushes on the pad and it's patent pending. So I'm gonna give this a try soon. I just washed all my brushes, go figure. But I am gonna use this really soon and let you guys know. All right, and then they sent over a ton of brushes. So they sent over this one, which is the F80 Air. It's a flat kabuki brush. 
and it's for foundation. I've heard, I feel like it's like Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill from back in the day, like using this one a lot. So I am excited to test out my makeup on here. And then they sent over this EO6 wing liner brush, which I am a wing liner kind of girl, but I find I can never make it precise enough or clean enough. So I'm excited to try this one out. And then they sent over this um, E E54. Yeah, E54 small tapered blending brush, which is that guy right there. And then it seems to be I'm missing one box, but this is the E45 small tapered blending. I thought that's what I just said. Okay, there's an E45 and there's an E54. The E54 is the medium sweeper. So I think that's just for packing it on all over your lid. So they can't send brushes without sending eyeshadow apparently, which is amazing. So they just sent over this Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. And it's an eyeshadow palette. Now, ooh, I like I don't go that crazy with my eyeshadow anymore, but when I do, it is all neutrals. So, can you see all of that? I'm so excited to have a play around with that. So, I'm I'm really stoked that they sent it over because sometimes I think you get sent things and it's like it doesn't fit you at all. The days of like a purple smoky eye have passed. They have passed. Anyways, they sent over a few other things. So this is, um, this one is an eyeshadow base primer. <laughs> I thought it was a lipstick before I looked at it. Um, let me see if I can get it off. So I don't know if you can see that there, but it's quite like, would you not think that that's a lipstick? I mean, anyways, so it's a, it's an eyeshadow primer. So try that guy out. It is called Sorbet though, so I think it is supposed to give a little bit of pigment, but I've never really had an eyeshadow primer that had like this much color to it. And then they did send over this power crayon. Um, it's in the color Sign Sealed, and it's just that right there. So this one's for lips, and I did put this on. It's quite red on me, but it's quite pigmented. It's really nice actually. And then they sent over a mascara, which I get my lashes done, so mascara, I love mascara, but I rarely use it anymore. So it's just got that curved brush. So yeah, there's that. Oh, I can never get it back in properly without making a mess. All right, last two, last two. We're almost done, guys. So then they sent over this gel liner. Now this one is Wicked. I think this one is the black and then there's like a brown one, but you can see that there which is amazing because I do have one pot upstairs. I can't remember what brand, but um, I think it's starting to dry out a bit. And then last but not least, they sent over this blush powder. So it's called Aura Face Powder. Um, I personally wouldn't be using this on my face because it just wouldn't show up. And truthfully, I don't know if it's gonna do much for me as a blush. It might just give me like a tiny little something something, but yeah. There's that. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this collective haul. I tried not to make it very long. I tried, but do you see why I am now gonna do a separate video for everything that I got for the bedroom? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love if you hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, I would love to see you back here. Please do so. Please say what's up in the comments down below, and thank you for watching. I'm gonna stop rambling. Bye. <laughs>